here today, and I hope I can get through this. It's so monumental. Um, when Anne came to school as a freshman, she had no thoughts of being in the track program. He was a tennis player, and he was excited to be on the tennis team. But Len Miller was the coach then, and he told his team that they all had to bring out a friend for the next practice. And so Eric had a friend, Len Richardson, who's here today. And uh, Eric said, yes, yeah, I'll go yeah. out. And that is how it all started. When he, Eric had a passion that I knew nothing about. He didn't know it. He didn't know it himself then. He wanted to run after he was on the team because he had this joy and got so much fulfillment from running. And it passed on over to the school, the town, the state, and beyond. And it was such an exciting time here in the building because all the, the people in track all over Orange County, they rose to the occasion. They made each other better. Uh, so it was a great time. And it's a reminder to me that we all have the opportunity in life to be supportive and encouraging to each other. You never know when something you may say or do will greatly influence another's life. One other thing about this. Uh, <laughs> when Eric started track, the first thing was there were two great coaches. Len Miller was his coach the first year, and then he went on to UC Irvine and coached the track program. And when he left, Jim Toomey came on board, and he didn't miss a beat and continued a wonderful program. One, there, one time there was a qualifying race, cross-country race, that was in Irvine. And this race was to determine who was going to represent the team for the United States to run in England in a cross-country race. Well, before the race, I saw him sitting by himself, and he was praying. And on the way home, I asked him, I said, Eric, what were you praying about? And he said, Mom, I was praying to do the best I can. And if I do the best I can, I will win the race no matter what place I come in at the finish line. I thought, wow. <laughs> He's a very humble man, but he had a competitive spirit when he got on the track, and that just permeated, that love just permeated. That's why we're all here today. It's not just the record. It's who you choose to be in the world. And I did want to say one other thing. I came to this track, and I thought, it is definitely a cut above what it was. <laughs> we were here <laughs> in the mid '70s, and uh, I just, uh, just thank you all. It was just a wonderful experience. I've seen some of tra uh, some of Eric's um, people that he ran with. I just want you to know that uh, Eric's two coaches are here, his family, and some of his teammates from the '70s. And uh, thank you so much for letting me share. This is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs>